Aloha, everybody, and hello and welcome. My name is Mark Fisher. I want to welcome you to my channel, and I'm going to continue. It's the 20th anniversary of the television show Lost, and uh, part one I had just finished showing you here. This is part one, and uh, I cover my trip to the island where I went to Hawaii in 2013 and uh, went to various different locations on a tour. Uh, got a personal one-on-one -on -one tour, and I took photographs, and I shared those in part one, and I'm going to continue that here in part two, and I hope that you all enjoy it. Uh, of course, Lost was a great television show. It's my favorite show. I've watched it many times. I love watching it with friends. Uh, it's very deep. Uh, people, it's controversial, the ending. Some people like it. Some people don't. It's really about faith. It's really about people who are lost who find, uh, you know, their way and uh it's a, it's great it's a great great show i highly recommend it if anybody hasn't seen it and of course anybody who has seen it on your losty uh, i'm sure you appreciated the show as much as i did uh in the show ran from 2004 to 2010 and uh after the show ended in 2013 i took a trip to oahu to hawaii and i went specifically because i wanted to take a tour of the lost locations and as I mentioned in the part one, uh, which you can go back and watch, this is the thumbnail for part one. Uh, as I mentioned in part one, uh, I thought it was going to be a group tour. I paid for the tour and uh, it was on a weekday. And when I went down to my lobby in my hotel, the owner of the company was there and he took me personally in his car because I was the only person that day that was going on the tour. So I got a personal one on one tour and he took me to places that other people normally wouldn't go to. I could go to anywhere he I asked him to go. And it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic day, and I had a great time. Of course, uh, the island of Oahu is beautiful. The weather was great. It was September 2013 that I took this tour. And so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this uh, part two of this, and I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I just want to remind everybody, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Just click that subscribe button, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And let's get started with part two too. Okay, the next part I want to show you is this was the home base, the camp for the others. And if you've watched the show, you know who the others are. And they had a camp uh, of, of cottages and on a part of the island uh, that eventually the uh, people, the survivors of the plane crash, find out that there are actually people who live on this island. And uh, this was the place that they used to film uh, where the different uh, people that were part of the others and had been living on the island were at. And this is a photograph from the show, and you can see how lush and green it is. And these are actual actual cabins uh, on the north shore of the island of Oahu near Farrington Airfield. It's Camp Erdman. It was a YMCA camp. And these were existing structures. And lots of kids in Hawaii would come to this camp uh, for summer camp. And it still exists to this day. And so they took it over and they painted up the uh, buildings and uh, they got the grass really nice and green. And this is where the others uh, lived on the island. And it actually was a real location that you can go and visit. This is another picture from the show with the uh, gazebo in the center there. And a lot of, lot of different action and things took place here at this location. And this is, again, from the show towards the finale, that's Ben Linus sitting in the foreground and John Locke walking around uh, one of the cabins. And this is the, near the finale uh, when the place was made to look distressed. This is photographs that I took in 2013. So you can see the same cabins are there. But like I said on the part one, there had been a long drought in Oahu. So, you know, it was not green. It was very, very uh you know, burnt out and uh, dusty and dirty, but that was an uh, ongoing camp. Uh, it was a YMCA camp and it still is to this day. I'm sure it's been fixed up and looks much nicer, but this is how it looked in 2013. And again, this is another shot that I took there and you can see how dried out and all it is, but that's a real camp and that's the location where they filmed quite a bit of the show. Another photo that I took uh, from there. The next location I wanted to show you was uh, the location of the cave. Again, if you've watched the show, you know the cave where the castaways went and hid and where the uh, uh, 
the old skeletal bone remains were at. And I'm not going to go into the show because there's lots of different secrets and things that come out. And I don't want to ruin it for, ruin it for people who haven't seen the show. But this was uh, the location where they shot the cave. This is a photograph from the show of Hurley on the left and Jack Shepard. And they're, they're trying to, they're walking into an entrance of a cave. In actuality, that entrance didn't actually exist. That's actually CGI. It's actually a stone face. Uh, the, the interior of the cave was actually shot at the studio uh, interiors uh, near Diamond Head. And I'll show you that studio. But this was actually up. The location was up near the Punch Bowl uh, Cemetery Crater uh, near Honolulu, believe it or not. It wasn't even up on the North Shore or any area where... Uh, you know, it's very lush and all that, but this is near the Pali Highway and near the Punch Bowl. And this is a photograph that I took. And the way that he had to get to it, he walked me down, my tour guide. Uh, we parked in a cemetery parking lot, and then we had to walk down a, a, a little road and then pass some dumpsters through a little trail to get to this waterfall. This is actual real water running down from the Pali uh, down towards Honolulu. And literally, the city is all around us. But uh, this this canyon or creek area, it looks like you're in the jungle. And they filmed a lot of the hiking sequences there. Uh, they filmed, of course, the cave uh, entrance there. And it's just, it's just it's really spectacular to know that you know really it's right in the middle of civilization uh, where they filmed this. And this is that same area there with the banyan tree and the river running. And I took this photograph here. And that's me standing in front of what was supposedly the entrance to the cave. And you can see it's just stone, but uh, it's just rock, right? And uh, like I said, they CGI'd an entrance where they would walk in and out of, but it wasn't actually a real cave. But that's where they filmed uh, the cave. And a lot of, uh, you know, parts of the story take place in that cave and around that cave area. So that, like I said, was in near downtown Honolulu, near the Punchbowl Crater. And uh, I was really, really surprised when I saw that location. Here's some more locations uh, around the island that I took on the tour that we got to see uh, that were featured in the show. Mr. Clucks, Hurley's chicken franchise that he has uh, that you find out about in uh, one of the flashbacks and flash forwards. This is, uh, they took, uh, that's Hurley right there in the center and uh, that's the uh, Mr. Cluck's logo that they put on there, but it's actually a Popeye's fried chicken in Honolulu. And that's just, that's what they did was they dressed it up to be Mr. Cluck's, but it's really a Popeye's uh, fried chicken in that area there. And that was in Honolulu. So that, that was a cool uh, little location there. And they filmed some uh, different uh, parts of the story there at Mr. Cluck's. Okay, this is in Haleiwa, and this, you can see here, this is a little, uh, says a smoothie shopper and all that type thing. Well, they dress this up to be the travel agency uh, where John Locke goes to when he's in Australia, and they, if we find out, uh, they reveal his big secret. And this actually was filmed in Haleiwa at this uh, smoothie shop here. And I just wanted to show that I'm not going to give away a secret because that will ruin the show for people who have not seen it. Uh, this is Rainbow Drive-In, and this is actually uh, a real drive-in. I'm going to show you the picture. This is from the show, and this is when, um, in the final season, and I'm not going to give away when this is, but basically this is uh, Saeed and Hurley. Uh, they go there to get something to eat, and this is a Rainbow Drive-In Kit Chicken, okay? And then this is the real Rainbow Drive-In. They use the real one. It's in Waikiki, uh, not far from the Ala Moana Canal. And they have great Hawaiian food, great plate lunch. And uh, as you can see, the line of people there. And that's where they filmed that uh, scene from the show. This is the USS Bofin near Pearl Harbor. And this is an actual World War II submarine. And what they did there, they didn't actually shoot the exterior of the submarine there, but you can take a tour of the submarine. And they filmed interiors of the submarine that is used in the show it, that you don't actually see. They have a fake exterior of, a, of a, the submarine. But this is where they filmed the actual uh, submarine, uh, the interiors. And this is uh, walking up to the USS Bowfield at the time.
but anyway, you can take this tour. It's uh, at Pearl Harbor, at the Pearl Harbor Museum, and you can actually go into that uh, uh, submarine and look around if you like, but that's where they filmed a lot of the interiors of the submarine. Okay, all, all the interiors were shot in a studio. When you'd see inside buildings, inside rooms, things like that, they weren't filmed in real locations. They were actually filmed in a studio where they could create the sets and props and uh, and shoot the. All right. The original first season was actually shot uh, in an old abandoned uh, shopping, uh, like a, a store uh, that that was used, and they didn't have the studio set up then. But then eventually, starting I think in the second season, there there's a studio that's on the uh, east side of Diamond Head Crater near Kahala. And this is the, the studio where they filmed most of the interiors. That's the studio there. It's on the east side of Diamond Head Crater and that big white building, that's the uh, big sound stage uh, where they would uh, you know, shoot a lot of the things. They would shoot uh, some of the exteriors like the uh, temple sequence, uh, the big temple that they built uh, for the final season. That's, that was filmed in the parking lot there. And this is a closer up. You can see those are mobile, uh, you know, uh, trailers and trucks that were used if they went on location. But this is Diamond Head Studios, and this is where they filmed a lot of the interior stuff for the show Lost. Now, there was an additional beach location up on the North Shore near Turtle Bay. And I want to show you, show you the pictures from that. We went up there when we were on the North Shore. That's the location there in Turtle Bay from the show. That's Juliet walking out of the water towards the other gentleman who she was having an affair with. I can't remember his name because I'm so old and I can't remember everything. But anyway, so this is uh, up there near Turtle, Turtle Bay. And again, the same location was used for that's uh, Sawyer and somebody coming in with the Outrigger canoe. And then that island up to the upper left, that's a CGI, computer-generated island. And that's where they would come across, show, you know, when things were taking place on that other island and they needed to get over there. Uh, they used this location here up at Turtle Bay. And this is the photograph I took in 2013 of that same beach, that same location up near the Turtle Bay Resort. And uh, if you looked behind me where the camera is that's where that big banyan tree was that they all those banyan trees that they shot a lot of the sequences that i showed you in part one of this series it's literally behind me about 100 yards and so they use this location for lots of different things and there's other uh, scenes that they shot from shows in here but uh for in the show but uh anyway i just wanted to show you this uh this location there's a famous episode in the in the last season about Richard Alpert and his backstory, uh, which is all in uh, spoken in a, in a different language and with subtitles. And it was a beautiful episode, and it has to do with um, him and and his origins and uh, his his wife, who's no longer alive. Anyway, this is from that episode here, and uh, this is a the tree where something significant takes place, and. This is uh, Richard Alpert seeing his wife, who's a, uh, basically a ghost. Uh, but you'll see this episode if you had. It's a real tearjerker. It's really beautifully done. And uh, that's also from the show. Well, this is the tree area where they shot this. I took this photograph. This is on the Pali Highway up on the old Pali Highway going up towards the Pali on uh, Oahu. And uh, you, you pull over and uh, this is a big tree that they used for that uh, sequence. They used it also, here's another shot of it, for many other uh, scenes like with John Locke when he's first on the island and he's looking for the hatch and things like that. But people will most remember this area for the Richard Alpert back story. And this is that area. And like I said, it's up off the old Polly Highway and it's a beautiful tree and it's a beautiful location. The finale final showdown location. All right, I'm not going to give away anything, but all you losties know what I'm talking about. And this is where uh, the finale happens. That's Jack Shepard. That's Hurley in the middle and Kate uh, on the right. This is the area where they filmed it. Again, this is down uh, the southeastern part of Oahu 
uh, the Lanai Molokai Lookout area, uh, Chinaman's Cliffs, and that's looking over that area there. And uh, they use these cliffs for many things and, and uh, many episodes. But the big finale sequence uh, the to carry on, you know, to basically end the story takes place here. I'm not going to recount it here for people who have not seen it, but they take place in this area here. And this is that same area looking in a different direction. But they filmed a lot of the finale uh, showdown sequence here at that Lanai lookout, which you can very easily get to it's near hanama bay and uh you can actually park and there's a parking area and you can walk down onto these rocks here is the finale that's that same area there that's hurley and ben linus again another shot from that area that i took then in the finale there's a whole concert that takes place which i'm going to show you the location where this was filmed on the island of oahu Okay, this is Desmond uh, here with his girlfriend. You all know this. And uh, that's uh, the location. This is a shot from the, um, from the show. And this is, uh, you know, where they, they film the finale uh, concert that uh, takes place. And this is the Bishop Museum in Honolulu. This is where they filmed that whole finale sequence with the concert. And the Bishop Museum has been around for years and years and years. It's very famous. Uh, as an elementary school uh, kid uh, on the island, I was taken there because uh, it's a museum of Hawaiian history as well as natural history. And it's beautiful. And the bishops were a very wealthy family on the island of Oahu. They owned a lot of land. And this is a uh, museum that's named for them. I think I'm, I'm sure they probably contributed the land and the money for the museum. Anyway, this is a corner of the museum, and that little parking area right here is where the limousine pulled up with Desmond when he was, uh, you know, checking out the concert area in the daytime, and that's right there on the corner of the museum, uh, of the Bishop Museum. This is the actual photograph at the time of them setting up the stage for the concert. I did not take this photo, but that's where uh, the concert with uh, Drive Shaft Charlie's band was going to perform with Daniel Faraday. Anyway, that's all I'm going to uh, say about that. But that's uh, the Bishop Museum you see there on the left. And, of course, this is the bandstand where they had the concert. And then this is the tented area on the grass at the Bishop Museum. This is from the show uh, time period. And, again, this is a close-up from the show time period. I did not take this. And this is where they're going to film the actual big finale concert. And then I took this photograph. This is the actual open lawn as it looked in 2013 after the series. And that's, uh, you know, the lawn in front of the Bishop Museum where they filmed all this. And I got to see that. And it was fun walking around and remembering different uh, parts of the show uh, and where they took place in this area. And then finally, as part of the finale, is the church. And I'm not going to give away uh, anything for the people who have not seen the show. But for you losties, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is Sacred Hearts Academy, and it's in uh, the Manoa area, downtown Manoa area near Honolulu and Waikiki. And uh, it's actually a Catholic school, and uh, there's a there's a church in there, and uh, a lot of uh, you know things happen there as part of the finale, which I won't give away. But Sacred Hearts Academy is where that takes place, and you can actually go there and see it, and it's a beautiful place and a beautiful location. And then, of course, the show ends, and that's Jack Shepard uh, with Vincent the dog. He closes his eye, and we reach the end of the series. And this is also the end of my slideshow in terms of what I saw when I was there on the island of Oahu. Again, I want to reiterate, if you have not seen Lost, go and watch it. If you have, watch it again. It's a fun, fun, fun show to watch. Very emotional. Uh, I've watched it several times, like I said. It's always fun to see, and it's always fun to um, uh, relive it. You know, you don't even need to watch it in sequence because you remember the characters if you've seen it before. And uh, everybody's story is very interesting, uh, and the acting is fantastic. Uh, and, of course, this took place from 2004 to 2010. So it's a little dated in terms of the technology, uh, but it, it's just really, really a well-done series. I love watching it, and I know a lot of people uh, that are watching this video 
they do as well. I wanted to mention, please, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel, Las Vegas Travel and More. Uh, if you like this content, I do other things like this about Las Vegas, about my travels, and lots of fun videos. So I'd really appreciate it if you all would subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that like button, and hit the notifications button. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And then if you have any questions or if this opinions or if this, you know, reminded you of things you wanted to talk about, uh, please go in the comment section. I review all the questions and comments and I will respond to you. Uh, but I really appreciate any comments or feedback or anything like that. And then if you'd like to donate to the channel, as I mentioned before, you can buy me a coffee. Just go down below in the description of the video. There's a link to buy me a coffee. You click on it and just follow the instructions. Any money donated, of course, goes back into the channel. But it's a way if you want to support the channel, you can do so. Anyway, that is my tour of the Lost locations here on the 20th anniversary of the TV show Lost. I really appreciate you all watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will watch more of the videos on my channel. I think you'll find them enjoyable. And until next time, I just want to say have a great day and thanks for joining and watching. Bye-bye.